new excited to eat ball wrestling. Why didn't you talk about it? I would have kicked your ass. New is wrestler to Evolve Wrestling. He's a contracted wrestler. Yeah, you ain't say nothing about it. He's an Evolve contracted wrestler. You, you interview you. Austin Theory, but not this guy. Hey, this is how I... <laughs> I'm ready, come on, ready. Hey, what's up, players? This is WWE Hall of Famer Teddy Long, and I just want you to know that you're watching The Jeffrey Show Live, and that's real talk, players. This is Jeffrey Taylor from Jeffrey Show Live, and I'm here with the one and only Evolve superstar here, Rough Rough. Leon Ruff, how you feeling today? I'm feeling good, Jeffrey. I'm feeling really good. Thank you for having me on the Jeffrey Show Live. I appreciate it. You know, man, you was in the early reviews. A lot of people don't know about that. They've been seeing the interviews. But now I'm getting the opportunity to interview you. And I must say, it's been a journey. And I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. You're right. It has been a journey. Uh, you were there when we were on the first... Uh not the building that the WWE 4 is in now, but the one before that, when I first started. That's when I first met you, but... I love you that know? building. Yeah, it was, a, it was a great building. That's where I got my start. Just quickly, I want to wrap it up with you being a referee. How do you feel about refereeing now, back when you caught a little heat back in the day, back in the old WWE 4 building? Oh, man, those days, man, that was just nerve-wracking. I remember ref fan Rudy and Talon versus Fred and Ashton. And I was, man, after that match, I got out of there. The, the end, it was controversial, and I, I couldn't handle it. I, just, I left. But now, you know, more relaxed, more in my element, you know. So, major difference, but I'm having fun. I like that. I like that. Where were you at when you found out that you was going to be signed with Evolve? I was at... I was at home. It was after, actually, it was after me and Austin wrestled at FIP. Okay. And I got a message saying that, you know, the WWN officials wanted to talk to me, you know, that Monday, like the following uh, day. And so that Monday they called me. I was at my job. I wow. went on break. You, you worked? Know? Yeah. Okay. That's yeah, you know, up. I mean, you gotta you gotta support yourself while you're while you're like rising. That. Yeah, while you're like rising. That, on the... that's out there that probably just think that she got the two hundred dollar watches. On and this every... thing. <laughs> no, so yeah, that's yeah. humbling. Yeah, I still work. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And my job is really supportive. They give me all the days off I need for wrestling. When I was unemployed and I was going on job interviews, I always made sure to tell them, like, I, I wrestle, I need days off whenever I need them. If you can't do that for me, then I can't work for you. So luckily this job, they, they work with my schedule, and, you know, I appreciate it. Nice, nice. Somebody need to hear that out there. But I want to take it back to you is I remember when – it was this WWE 4 scramble matchup, and I can't necessarily remember the promotion, but they took a handful of you guys, and out of some of the people that was in there, you were the one that was that won the matchup. And I'll never forget the rumors started circulating that you just got started and you won, and everyone had high hopes for you. So fast forwarding, how do you feel that I'm gonna put the name out there, Gabe, and so many others in the back believed in you from? Back then, do you remember that matchup that I'm talking about? It's like that five-way, six-way yeah. scramble, and you came out with your yeah. hand on top. So, you know, the first time we did it was that style battle was me, AR Fox, Tommy Maserati, Alan Angels, Cavron Canyon, and David Ali. Nice. And then the next one, it was, you know, me, Tony Midas, Alan Angels, Tommy Maserati, uh, AC Mack. That's the one I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, that Those one. Are more familiar names. So, that's the match I saw. You know, when I won that match, it was just, that's when the ball really, really started rolling. Then I had a match the next night against Chip Day. Oh, you know, yeah, I won that match that as well. So, you know, it, it feels really good. I remember going into wrestling or going into to training and getting myself ready to, you know, put myself out there. I was thinking, you know, you want to go out there. You want to give it your best. If you believe in yourself, then everybody will. Because if you don't, then no one's going to bet on you if you don't bet on yourself. And so to have all this support is really humbling. I, I really appreciate all the support. I'm not going to go too much further without mentioning that you're from Detroit. Yes, yeah, I am from Detroit, from the 313. Okay, I just have to get that out there because I have some friends that's online and be like, that's bro, he's from Detroit and everything. And I just have to get that out there, a shout out with them. But it's the Skulls still together. 
Skulk is still together. You know, still me, Adrian Alanis, and Liam Gray. Even though Tommy Maserati stepped down, we're still going strong. You know, we still love him. We still talk to him. But, Speaking yeah. of Tommy Maserati, is that why you're here tonight at Action Wrestling? <laughs> that is why I'm here, actually, at Action Wrestling, is to see Tommy's return to the ring. And because I realize I should, I can definitely be more supportive to my friends in their career. Because it's real easy to get caught up in what you're doing and just being focused on yourself that I got to realize that. You know, I have other friends who, who are doing great things, and I should be out there to support them as well. So even though I'm here for Tommy, I'm really here for everybody. But it just so happened Tommy has, you know, is on this show. Nice. That's how old are you? 23. Very wise. Very wise at 23. Reminds me of myself. Let's get into the championship matchup. Right. If I'm not being disrespectful, this is probably the biggest matchup of your career at this point. Right. Yes. Yes, it is. My first uh, Evolve Championship match. Um, not my first title um, match, but the first Evolve title match. So, yeah, it's a pretty big match. On a pretty big show, you know, we got Undisputed Era coming. We got Gargano. Gar Johnny Gargano is going to be there. Tommaso Ciampa is going to be there. Yeah, so a lot of eyes is going to be on this match. Are you taking home the championship from Austin Theory? I definitely am taking the championship home from Austin Theory because I'm going in there confident. Not gonna, you know, I'm gonna psych myself out. I'm gonna be calm throughout the whole match, and I'm gonna go out there and I'm just gonna give it my all. I love it, love it. You know, honestly, I'm a huge Austin Theory fan. He's been on the show, but I'm rooting for you. I want you to take the championship come next Saturday. Thank you, I appreciate that. I want to uh, bring the championship home. I want to be able to call my grandfather, who name is Leon Ruff. Leon Ruffin, you know, I want to be able to call him and tell him that his grandson is a champion. You know, I want to bring it back to the Boys and Girls Club to inspire those kids. That's what, it, yeah, that, my main thing is motivation, motivating people. That's really what I look forward to doing out of anything is motivating people and inspiring people. I want to say thank you for joining us this evening. I know you have a lot of people to agree, but where can people follow you on social media? You can follow me at, on Instagram at xleonruffx, and you can also follow me on Twitter at leonruffsxe. Come straight edge, so you know I got to throw that in there. You follow back? And depends, <laughs> you know. And depends. Yeah, no, you know when you follow me. I love it. I love it. Let me just close out with this after the social media. Do you have anything that you want to say to Austin Theory, the current Evolve champion, before the big matchup next Saturday? I mean, I could. I've been thinking. There's a lot of things I want to say to him. You know, from the way he was treating me when I first got there to to now. You know, but. Mostly everything's gonna be set in the ring. I, I'm mainly focusing on the match, not necessarily talking. I just I want I'm an action guy, so I want to go in there and I I want I want to wrestle. I want to wrestle for the belt. So that's it. I love it, man. Good luck once again. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. No problem. Jeffrey Show Live. We're signing out.